Welcome back to the diesel stop. Well today guys we're going to be pulling a CP3 injection pump off this uh, 24 valve common rail here and we're going to be using uh, some torque tools and uh, the uh, torque tool that we're going to be using here is the uh, CGP020. So the first thing we're going to do here is take our nut off the uh, pump gear take the lock washer off that's the only nut that I've uh, broke loose so far. And then we're going to use a uh, 13 millimeter wrench on the uh, heads of our bolt here. Torque tools. I've got a uh, 24 valve coming sitting behind this one here that I uh, ended up breaking off a uh, bolt into the uh, pump gear so uh, eventually I'll p-pump it so it's not much of a big deal but these bolts here are hard and still well that thing just broke loose that easy so the next thing we're going to do is take off the uh, bolts on the uh, back side of the injection pump and pull our injection pump we're going to take our water pump off and then uh, flip the motor upside down and pull the oil pan yeah 13 millimeter socket and ratchet and extension would you mike Can be a little bit stubborn. Okay, let's put that nut on that pump, and that lock washer, and set her off the side. Let's grab a crescent wrench and, or actually, then bolts are loose on the motor there. Let's uh, go on ahead and uh, roll her over. Man, you smell like oil, and this thing smells like crude oil. This smells like it burnt off. Smell like it got burnt real bad. Can you imagine that going 15,000 miles on a hole? Anyway, well, sure eats them bearings up. People think that uh, extended oil changes are no big deal until you start burning them bearings up. Anyway, let's uh, roll that over, Chris. Back this way. Yeah. Keep on going, brother. Keep on going. More. 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 Keep on going, a little bit more. Keep on going. Set this one over for Chris. Here, down there, yeah. <clears throat> well, stick 
these in it. Uh, on the in the oil pan, it'd be fine enough. We're gonna load all this up. He can load all this up. Take the machine shop here shortly, anyhow. Huh? Well, head, the block, pistons. I'll have him bring a box over when he comes over to get that stuff here. Shortly. This is that burn up piston right here. Alrighty, roll her over, Chris. scoring on this. Check this out guys. See that? that piston's burnt. You can see that first first ring, the compression ring. Nice. Look at all the scoring on that. I thought that was oil when you first took it out. Nice. Got a hole burnt in that piston on the side. I guess. Uh, did you see that on the Facebook there, Chris? When I was taking okay. pictures of it? Yeah, I did. I've seen the picture you had it on the stand, but oh. I didn't see the other ones. Hey Chris, on this uh, camshaft here, buddy. I'm gonna take these. Uh, that you smash my finger. There's a thrust plate behind this cam, so turn your motor over again. There's gonna be uh, two bolts that hold that thrust plate in there, and you'll have to uh, line it up so we can get them out. I'm gonna take these oiler tubes out. The star check ones. There should be like three bolts. It. Yeah, right there. There's some star shaped things in there too. There's one little hand in there, you get them. You might just drop them in this bucket. Yeah. Need to pull this oil pump off too. Oh, yeah. 
put my hand there, can you? Maybe on the back side. Well, this common rail here is ready to head off to the machine shop to get all the machine work done on this thing. And the uh, crankshaft is just uh, sitting in there handy. No need to pull it out. So uh, we'll see this thing back here in a couple of weeks when it gets back from the machine shop.